I'm Michael, and I'm here today with Dave. Hello. And uh, this week, we're, our project is on CPU lapping. Um, what, how to lap a CPU is basically uh, by making the heat shield that's on a CPU flat. Uh, the reason you would do that is because on CPUs and the heat sinks are not perfectly flat. If they were, you wouldn't need thermal paste. Um, the thermal paste is used to fill in the microscopic uh, uh, lines, um, indents on a, on a CPU to help with the heat dissipation between the CPU and the heat sink. Um, so what we're going to do is make this perfectly flat, uh, and that way you don't have to use thermal paste, um, and it will make a better contact uh, between the CPU and the heat sink. Um, and how we do that, basically, is we get some wet dry sandpapers you see here. Uh, we're starting out with, I believe, 600 grit. And uh, just to warn you, as soon as you touch this to the sandpaper, your warranty for this is completely void. So thankfully, this isn't mine. This is Dave's. Thanks, Dave. Yep. And uh, so anyway, basically what you do is just get this paper, you know, wet dry sandpaper totally uh, flat. You want glass is perfect. You want a totally flat surface. You tape it down. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it 30 times and I'm going to rotate it 25 or rotate it, you know, a quarter turn and do it 30 times again. And then I'll show you uh, what it looks like. Turn it a quarter turn. All right, turn it a quarter turn again. Another thing I want to mention real fast is when you're doing this, don't push down on the CPU. Uh, let the weight of the CPU just hold it like in the corners around the edges and watch out if you have pins like his has pins uh, mine's totally flat but um, but just don't that way you don't bend any pins up Quarter turn again. All right, that's been 30 uh, swipes across the sandpaper, and you're rotating it a uh, quarter turn each time. And as you can see right there, the high spots. You can see it's still high up here. It was high down here, and you can see the copper starting to come through there. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that, Dave? Yep. Okay. Um, and then what you do is you uh, continue doing the 800 grit, or the 600 grit, I'm sorry, uh, until you can feel that it's not really, you'll, you'll, you will, you won't really see it, but you'll feel it, that it's really not taking anything off. Um, then you go ahead and swap out to your next uh, grid of sandpaper. Um, and if you have, uh, you know, if you see this stuff com that comes onto the sandpaper, you can swap out for another piece. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep doing this and then uh, um, until I think that I need to swap it out for another piece. Okay, right now what we're going to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> keep on doing that. As soon as that's done, we're going to switch over to the 800 grit sandpaper and uh, we'll show you the, the CPU processor before, uh, before we do the 800 and then we'll show it to you again after we're done with the 800. Be back in a little bit. Go. All right, this is what it looks like after the 600 grit. As you can see, you can now see copper through it, except for the top part, which is still a high spot. So. As you're uh, sanding it, um, all the high spots obviously are going to go down and reveal all the copper below it and make and it's, as it's making it flat. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the 800 grit now, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like after the 800. Okay, now that we've done the 800 grit, we're going to go ahead and switch to the 1000 grit. As you can see, it's all down to copper now. Um, basically what we're doing is, uh, now that it's flat, um, we're going ahead and making it a little smooth, get, get rid of all those microscopic lines. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but it has microscopic uh, cuts in it. So we're going to make it totally, uh, totally smooth. And uh, as soon as I'm done with the 1000 grit, we'll show you what that looks like. All right, this is what it looks like after the thousand grit. As you can see, still see there's some lines still left in it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the 1500 grit, and that'll take off even more of uh, the lines and make it nice and uh, shiny. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I can start seeing myself in it. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and do the 1500 grit, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, this is what it looks like after the 1500. It uh, doesn't look like much difference, but it is. It is a lot smoother. Uh, still has some of the microscopic lines in it. Okay, well this is what it looks like after the 2000 grit. As you can see, I'm holding it up to my uh, mosquito repellent. You can see the reflection of it. Uh, we ran out of 2000 grit sandpaper, um, so we'll have to do, get some more tomorrow to actually totally finish this up. Uh, but for now, at least you can get an idea of, of uh, what happens after you sand it down and make it totally smooth. And then that way, you know, you, I mean, I wouldn't go against putting thermal paste back on but the main thing is is that uh, the best contact is metal to metal and like I said the only reason you use thermal paste is uh, because the, the CPU normally is not flat and neither is the heat sink um, but uh, we'll have some more uh, info for you at the end of the video for you to see and again we'll put down what we used uh, to make this project happen and uh, thank you for your time have a good night.